Um, Chase, Riley, how did Riley go this morning? Did he get up too much? Phil thought? Uh, I think he was a bit of straight line stuff this morning, um, just working through his process. And hopefully he'll be good for this week. Did go he, through his, what he needs to do. Did he look okay? Were you, were you confident? I actually didn't see him much this morning. Um, I spoke to him afterwards and he felt pretty good, so he's always confident. He always wants to play a big fella. When, um, when you go into a game like you did on the weekend without Tex and without Riley, does it subconsciously dent belief? Does it matter to players when you know that a few big names aren't there? Oh, no, not at all. Um, we we got the group that we know that um, most weeks you be able to, you got to have someone else to come in and rely on, like Lucky Glant, Easy come in, like, um, and we've shown in the first two months of the year, like, throughout the, um, each game, there was someone new that was stepping up and showing a bit more for someone else that might not have had their best day out. So I think that's the, one of the growths of the group. Tex said this morning on radio that he had to make a selfish decision to rest himself last week. I guess from a player point of view, how does that fit with you? Because on one hand, like unselfishly, you want him to get the best out of himself, himself but selfishly, like you want one of the best players out there. Yeah, most definitely. It sounds like that uh, for Tex, it was a bit of the same sort of thing. Like That was the mindset at the start of the year. And um, oh, I know you, you know the big fellow, he wants to play. Like If you, you don't want to play, like that's sort of you're not in the right business. But He's always get, trying to get the best out of himself and um, he's one of them players that you can always rely on. And for him to make that call, like, it's, a, it's one that sometimes needs to be done. Yes, looking at the best from yourself this season, how have you played for the ground players this season like this year? Yeah, no, nah, I'm enjoying playing some good footy and as a group we're moving the right way. And I think that's, like I said, there's, there's probably a handful, a dozen blokes that have done the exact same thing and kept, kept stepping up their game. So nah, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, maybe for the time to date, but hopefully we can keep improving and as, as a group we keep uh, moving forward and that will help the individual side of things as well, but yeah, I'm more focused on the team stuff. What the review show you, Chase? We just weren't there. Um, a, lot, a lot of the actions that we try to pride ourselves on week to week, they just weren't quite at the level and a good team like the Bulldogs are going to make you pay for it, so it's about bouncing back now and we focus on the Lions this week. When you say you weren't there, how do you how do you mean in terms of what sort of leads to players not being at the level that they that they need to be? I think that depends individually. Like um, like as a group, we we just weren't at the contest as hard as we are, and that's part of our game. And like um, we just need to keep keep bringing that. And like it's one of them ones. It's a one game. It's not been a trend for the year, so we just bounce back this week. How uh, how have you viewed Brisbane? What what makes them dangerous? How do you stop them? Do you think? Oh, they're, they've got some quality players all around the ground, so uh, we, we know our game plan can st stack up with the best teams in the comp, and that's what we're planning on doing this week, and we've got to bring our contest, and we can go forward from there. When you talk about Brisbane Stars, have you got what specifically do you think makes them dangerous in terms of their game style? How do they like to play? Well, they've got their midfielders, like they, they are elite ball users as well as winning the contest, so if we can start in there, that'd be a great step forward for us, and they've got some... Um, key forwards and some forwards that can really kick some goals. That was my next question. Is Tommy Duda coming back is pretty helpful when you think you know, Hipwood, Danaher, yep. you probably get McCarthy maybe or that go to someone else but they're, you know, they're Charlie Cameron, they're yeah. a superstar forward one, aren't they? They're, they've got a lot of uh, forwards that can do some damage and it's one that you got to, if you try and stop one, there's another one that pops up so we, uh, we'll be working on it as a group and the best way to defend is as a team so that's one, one of the processes we'll go through. Make sure you don't carry that kind of off game and move into this weekend. Well, it starts with well, we've already reviewed it, um, moved forward, and we go into training this week and crack in and be ready to go. Like it's like I said, it's a tr it's not a trend for the, the year, so we just keep pressing forward and do what we know is best for us. Since you said all the reviews this year have kind of been more positive, but would you find the same sort of thing, or would there be more negative? Oh, there's obviously things that you have to work on every week. I wouldn't say negative, but um, like there's always reviews that you have to um, stand up for, and there's always positives out of games as well. And like we take them and we keep moving forward, and there's always always a bright light that you can still stand on as well. Next, said last night, three sixty as well. That like there's just so many miles from being a senior coach. Do you ever recognise how much he has on his plate as players? Oh, there's there's so much that Nixie like even game day there's radio like there's press conferences there's all the different things that like as players we're focused in and ready to go like so nah he, he does a great job and he's a great coach so nah 
sometimes I do not envy him. Well, no, nah, he's, he's really leading the group well. I love it. Um, talk about some of the positives that you said you identified in the review. What were they? Well, there's obviously like um, patches of period. Like we, the first 10 minutes of the game, we come to play and we're hot and ready to go and they just were able to work a, uh, work a bit harder than us at times. And um, But there's still the positives that we're going forward we can can take out of it. So is it just Sunday afternoon to come out breathing fire and not giving Brisbane a chance to settle on your home deck? Is that sort of the goal? Oh, it's, I think it's a goal every week. You want to you come out hot and really um, play the way you want to play, I guess, and don't go away from the processes of what we have. Could you pinpoint in the review kind of what went wrong? Because the first 10 minutes or five minutes kind of did switch. Could you pinpoint what happened there? Oh, I guess there's different periods of the game that you focus on and um, that lead up to it as well. So I, I don't know if it's a pinpointing, but there's certainly areas of the game that we're going to improve this week. Who do you normally get against Brisbane? Um, oh, well, I've played a few different roles over the years, so it's, uh, um, I've had a few different ones, but uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge. The Hugh McCluggage, Lockie Neal in the midfield, them sort of guys, or McCarthy or Cameron up forward if I go back. like it's. Then, as you said before, they've got some stars on the field, so you live up. Just want to embrace the challenge and go forward from there. You, you said you haven't played just a few different roles. Now you, we've chatted previously. You sort of feel a bit more settled that you are playing a, a more consistent role. Oh, like um, it's it's one of them ones that I just want to be doing what I can for the team, and if that means I have to slide back after like after Hindi got concussed, like it's you just you just do it. Like, I think that's the best part about our group as well. Like, we've got so many blokes that are just ready to ready to go, whatever the role is.